happy Christmas. What about these? We could maybe put those in resin. Whether they would work afterwards or not, well, we're about to find out. do now is sit back and wait. Think about Christmas stuff. Christmas? Isn't it a bit early for Christmas? Well, I celebrate Christmas early, all right? Hmm, looks pretty cool. Got one little guy poking himself up here. This should come out fairly easily. Oh, there we go, look at that. Ho ho ho! Yes. Now this has turned out quite nice actually because I wanted it to turn out like this because I'm actually not going to turn this on the lathe. I'm going to leave this like this, I, I think, anyway. There's a little bit of mark there, but... Um, but I'm hoping that this is going to look just nice like this. Right, so we just put a dibble of Yorkshire grit on. Now, a dabble of Shilohax. You're gonna love this. Oh, 
Oh, check out this. This is beautiful wood. This is Sapili. This wood is actually one bit of wood that I know. <laughs> Look at that glimmer. Hey, check it out. That's beautiful, isn't it? That's what I love about doing this because it's just so satisfying. Um, that looks really nice. So what I've done, i just put a bit of detail in the bottom there, as you can see. And it's quite nice. Just to do something different, really, just to finish it off. That's quite nice. It's going to be the base for this Christmas ornament uh, that I think we're making. So, um, and I've got room for my little emblem in there. I'm not going to put, like, the, the numbered emblems that I've got into these pieces. I think I'm just going to put these small ones in that I've got, which are um, these little ones. I've still got these. They still say NZ. We're turning on them, actually. Um, but I've got these and I, I, I may as well use them up. So, um, also known as NZ Wooten. Um, but um, but I put the smaller emblems into here and then I, when I make something kind of like a bit more substantial, a bit bigger, uh, like the table that you saw a little while ago, um, then I'll put the big pieces in there. Anyway, enough of the waffling. Let's get on and uh, we're going to flip this over now and we're going uh, <coughs> to we're going to see if we can insert this um, these resin lights into the base
Happy Christmas! <laughs> Another Christmas project completed. So all this was was just a bunch of lights. These. You can pick these up anywhere. Didn't even have to sand this down because I want to keep this nice and clear. It just goes to show how clear this resin is. But look at that. That is really quite funky. It's a little bit weird, I know. But it's one of those kind of Christmas projects that I kind of been meaning to do. And I thought to myself, yeah, because I've not really had much success with sealing lights in resin. So I kind of had to try and do this one again. All operated by battery, so you just put this around the corner. And you can change the buttons, obviously. It's got all different patterns in it if you want. Do you want me to turn the lights off again? Oh, all right then. Looks like kind of a freaky Christmas spaceship. I like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me do this project for you for Christmas. I do have a couple of other projects coming up for Christmas. Well, maybe one, maybe two. It's kind of an ornamental piece that you can bring out at Christmas, put it on the mantel shelf, and just admire the lights. Twinkle for Christmas time. It's quite heavy. What do you reckon? Christmassy enough for you? <laughs> I think there's about a hundred, hundred? A hundred little lights in there and depending upon obviously what setting you want you can have them flashing or just staying on or flickering or whatever. Well that's it, I think it's a pretty quick project today. Don't forget to check out the links below. Everyone always asks about where I get my music from. There's a link below that you can go to. There's a link below called Epidemic Sound. That's where I get all my music from and if you use the link it helps support the show. It doesn't cost you any different. Also, there's a kit list down there for you as well. And I'm kind of collating stuff together of the bits and pieces that I use in my workshop. There's like a beginner's kind of like wood turning bits and pieces that you might need. Uh, there's other sort of things that I've used in my projects uh, over the past sort of year or so. And I'm always adding bits to it. And I've found the links for those products that I've actually bought, whether it's the glue that I use or the wood or the tool. And you can just click on the link and buy that through eBay or Amazon. Again, it doesn't cost you any different if you use my links. It just helps support the show. Happy days. Don't forget, if you don't know anything about Makers Central, but I'm sure you do by now, we're putting this show back on next year. 
We hit it for the first time round this year and it was a really fantastic weekend. We pulled together thousands. We pulled together thousands of people to come together from all over the world to meet up and make us kind of creative get together. It was great. There was demos there, talks, meetups. It was just a really fantastic get together. And we're doing it again. And it's May of next year on the 11th and 12th at the NEC again in Birmingham, UK. The link is below if you want to check out what's going on. There's all sorts of things happening there. More demos, more talks, loads of things to see and do. We've now opened up another stage, so we should have three stages. We've got the Record Power stage, we've got the Main Maker Central stage, and we've got the Second Maker Central stage. Just so we can cram in loads and loads of things for you. There's loads of giveaways there, free things you can pick up, and it's gonna be another absolutely awesome weekend. So if you wanna meet people like Bobby Duke, Jimmy DeResta, Laura Cam, Jackman Works, Blackbeard Project, Jim Overton from Jimison Stuff, Temple Boy Turnins, Fools for Tools guys, Makers International lads, Zach from MV Woodworks, Bob from I Like To Make Stuff, Scott Grove, hundreds of makers are coming. I can't name them all, but they're all listed on the website. So go and check out if your favorite YouTubers there and come and meet them. You can always come and meet me as well. I'll be there. So come on, get yourself some tickets and we'll see you at the show. Well, happy Christmas, guys. It's not Christmas just yet, but it's coming around. And I'm kind of a festive guy, so I like making Christmas things. I've got a few projects on the go, so stick around for those. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button on your way out. Before you do that, you could share the video and leave me a really nice comment. Take care, folks. Have a fabulous weekend and a funky Christmas. And I'll see you all really soon. Take care.